Okay, here we go. So our next thing that we're going to do in find, involves finding volumes with isosceles triangles, isosceles right triangles, equilateral triangles, and semicircles. So we're going to have a certain distance along the bottom of each of them. We need to be able to find the area of each of them given that distance before we even start to think about solving these equations or these problems. Okay? So here's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Okay? Isosceles right triangle. Okay? How do I get from the hypotenuse to the side? Got to think back to geometry. From the hypotenuse to the side. Yeah. It's somewhere in the front of this room. Not over there, Megan. Over here. Can't read that far on 45, 45, 90. It's the bottom triangle. To get from the hypotenuse to the side, you divide by the square root of two. Okay. So each of these sides are whatever the distance is there, divide by the square root of two. How do you find the area of a triangle? Over there. One half, the base times the height. So, because we have a right angle here, one of these is a base, one of these is a height. So the area of this is one half of d over the square root of two times d over the square root of two. So the area of this is one half times d squared over what square root of two times square root of two? Two. Or the area of this is one fourth d squared. Okay, one fourth that distance squared. Okay, 45, that's a 45, 45, 90. Now, an equilateral triangle. How do you find the area? Well, again, it's one half the base times the height. But we gotta figure out what the height is here. Well, if I split this, it makes a 30, 60, 90 triangle, right? So over here, this part is one half of D, right? And then to get to this side, we multiply by the? That was back in geometry back in the day. It's over here on those cards again. Multiply by the square root of three, right? Yep. So your height is the square root of three over two times D. So the area of an equilateral triangle is the square root of three over four times D squared. Okay. Semicircle. How do you find the area of a semicircle? Area of a circle is pi r squared. So the area of a semicircle is one half pi r. This is for a circle. So a semicircle is one half pi r squared. But this is an r. This is d. Because d is distance and it's, in this case, the diameter. So the radius is going to be one half of d, right? So we put that in for the radius. So the area is one half pi times one half d, and then you square that. Well, when you square that, it's one half pi times one fourth d squared. So it's one eighth pi d squared. Okay, those are the three area formulas that we need to know for this next section. Now,
there's a base of s that's an ellipse using this formula ellipse formula back from algebra 2 we had ellipse formulas okay um cross sections are perpendicular to the y-axis so we're going across here with our triangles Okay, we have triangles going like that. Getting little, they're little triangles. They're getting bigger triangles and then back to little triangles again. Okay. So, what we have to figure out is what is in the heck is this gonna, distance going to be from here to here? Okay. How do we get that distance? All right. To get that distance... That's how far we go in the x direction, right? So we've got to get x alone. So 4x squared equals 36 minus 9y squared. Divide by 4. So x squared equals 9 minus 9 fourths y squared. Okay, that's what x squared is. So x equals 9 minus 9 fourths y squared with a square root around it. Okay, so what is that distance of x? Well, that's the distance from the center to the edge. Because if we put in like the number 3 here, or the number 0 here, because we're y value of 0. Okay, because we're going up. How far away from the axis are we? Because y value of 0, the x value is a square root of 9, which is 3, which makes sense. Up here, we're at the point 0, 2. So if we put in a y value of 2, what's 2 squared? 4. Four. So these cancel, and it was 9 minus 9, which is 0. The square root of 0 is 0, which makes sense. Okay, so that's halfway across so then all the way across is so our distance all the way across is 2 times the square root of 9 minus 9 over 4 y squared so that's our distance all the way across because this is just halfway across so then to do this problem there's our distance we're doing this formula, 1 fourth d squared. So the area of all our rectangles there is 1 fourth times 2 times the square root of 9 minus 9 fourths y squared squared. That's the area. And then to do this problem, we have to do the integral. Because we have to integrate it from here to here. But isn't here to here and here to here the same? And this, when you do it on the calculator, will cancel out with this because it's below the axis and above the axis. So really what we want to do is take two times just this area up here. So you get the whole area. So we're going to take two times the integral from zero up to two of 1 fourth times this squared is really 4 times 9 minus 9 fourths y squared. Well, 4 and 1 fourth will cancel. So on our calculator, if I do this, hopefully I get the right answer. Math 9, put it into the integral from 0 to 2 of... 9 minus 9 fourths x squared dx. If we do that, we get 12. And then if we take that times 2, we get 24, which is the answer for this one. Oofta. Okay. 
So now what if they're equilateral triangles? Well, if they're equilateral triangles, all it does is change the formula to this formula. So it's the square root of 3 over 4 d squared. The integral of that from 0 to 2, and we're going to multiply it by 2. Okay? So if we square that out, we're going to get the square root of 3 over 4 times 4, so these cancel out, times 9 minus 9 fourths y squared. So if I do that on the graphing calculator, math 9, 0 to 2, of second square root of three times nine minus nine force x squared d x twenty point seven eight four. Oh, and then we have to multiply by 2 because there's two halves of it. So 41.569. And when it's a semicircle, we use a semicircle formula, 1 8th pi d squared. So if we square d right off the bat, Four and eight cancel be two. So it's one half of pi the integral of nine minus nine force y squared. And you just do that on your calculator. Okay? Let's do another one. That's not an ellipse. Let's do this one. Okay, it's perpendicular to the x-axis. Oops. That's not straight. So we are doing semicircles here like that okay so we got to get the distance here well the distance here is one the distance here is down to zero so y is equal to x minus one so when oops one minus x there we go one minus x that's more like it. So when x is 0, y is 1. When x is 1 half, y is 1 half. When x is 1, y is 0. Okay, so that's our distance. So if that's our distance and it's a semicircle, we use 1 eighth d squared. So we use the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 eighth pi 1 minus x squared dx. And then I'm not going to put pi into my thing. I'm going to move pi out here because I want the exact volume. So I want to put pi in my answer. So I'm going to go math 9, do the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 eighth times 1 minus x quantity squared dx. And then I'll change it into a fraction. So go math, change it into a fraction, please. So it's going to be pi over 24. Okay. All right. So, 
That's semicircles and triangles, not the easiest stuff in the world. So I will unleash it on you, see how you guys can do.